Hi, Thomas from Field Tennis. Returning a fast first serve is one of the most difficult things in tennis. That's because you have very little time to react and you're facing a very fast incoming ball. And one of the most common mistakes that I see that players make is that they swing too fast. So they're meeting a very fast incoming ball with a very fast moving racket and that surely cannot result in a very consistent or a reliable return. So, in reality, you need to swing slow to use the speed of the incoming ball. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you a few drills that will help you learn that. Before we move on to drills that are going to help you learn to control the return, you need to change one mental image. Namely, you shouldn't think about hitting the ball, but instead you should be thinking about meeting the ball. If you're thinking about hitting the ball, then you'll very likely accelerate your racket and you will have a very fast incoming ball meeting a fast moving racket. So that's a very risky return. That's why you need to think about meeting the ball. If you think about meeting the ball, then you will just bring your racket to the contact point and you will use the ball's incoming speed to your advantage. And if you just swing steadily through your contact point while thinking about meeting the ball, you will see that you can hit a very reliable return. If you've been swinging too fast until now, our first objective is to actually break your pattern. We need to get you out of that bad habit and start creating a new one. That's why we're going to start with an exaggeration. So the first progression that you're going to do is that you're just going to meet the ball well in front of you in your ideal contact point and you're just going to let it bounce off your racket. So let me show you how that goes. So as the ball comes, I'm just meeting the ball well in front. I try and see the ball and I just block it. So let's say my goal is to make the ball land in my own service box. Now I know that this looks very simple, but trust me, I've done that quite a few times with adult recreational tennis players and almost always the ball would go over the net. So step one is to master this, have a friend serve to you from the service line, medium pace serves and all you need to do is just see the ball really well in front of you and just block it and push it nicely easily in your own service box. The next step is just to add a little bit more force to the ball, a little bit more push or maybe a little bit more height and try and hit the service box on the other side so you still want to move your racket very slowly and if you're able to control the ball so that you hit the service box on the other side that means that your racket was moving slowly. Here are a few examples. So the main thing I'm practicing is that really establishing my contact point in front. I want to see the ball well. I want to be very quick in my preparation but I want to be slow in my swing. So. The proof that I'm swinging slow is that I'm able to hit the ball on the other side in the service box. If I were to swing fast, then the ball would fly further. So if you're able to do that repeatedly, then you can move to the next stage. The final step is actually very similar to what you'll be doing in the match. Now you're trying to guide the ball with control, with a slow swing over the service line, so over the service box into the second half of the court. Here are a few returns like that. So again I'm trying to be very quick in my preparation but then I swing slow and I just want to guide the ball with good height over the service line down the middle something like that. That was a good one. So these progressions teach me to calm down when I'm returning the ball and control the return. Many times you feel that like you're in panic because everything is happening so fast. So the return has two stages when you're making it. Like first one is very quick. You need to be very quick in preparing and then you need to slow down and control the ball. If you're not switching from quick to slow then you will hit too fast and you will lose 
control of the ball. Try and see now the two phases of the return, a really quick preparation and a slow forward swing. Because I prepare so quickly and because I only want to meet the ball, you can see that I always wait for the ball. The idea of meeting the ball causes no backswing, which would waste a lot of time and probably make me rush. The progressive drills teach my arm to move very slowly at first and then gradually I start adding a bit of power to it. In my experience most tennis players prepare too slow and then swing too fast. So become aware of what you're typically doing on the return of serve and see if you can switch to fast preparation and slow forward swing where you're just meeting the ball well in front. And finally there are two more keys to solid returns you have to execute every single time. Always move forward towards the ball even if you're receiving a very fast serve. That's the only way to control a very fast incoming ball because your body's weight transfer will be behind your arm and help you stabilize the racket head. It will also allow you to slow down your swing and better find the ball with your sweet spot because you'll get some power from your body's momentum and that will relieve your arm of work. And secondly, make sure you really see the ball well after the bounce. The ball travels faster than when you're receiving any other shot, so you must really try and get that clear snapshot of the ball when it's in front of you, because if you don't hit the ball cleanly, you'll probably miss your return or just play it very short. If you want to hit your return cleanly, you need to see the ball clearly. So here's a quick recap of how to consistently return fast serves. Think meet the ball instead of hit the ball. Quick preparation, slow forward swing. Always move forward into the ball. Really try and see the ball clearly after the bounce. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube or to my newsletter at fieldtennis.net.